What's up everybody? I'm that guy Osiris and today we're going to talk about something very important. Ring maintenance. I'm re-dipping and polishing my wife's ring nine years later. I'm going to show you the before and after. You're going to see what happens to white gold over time. And you're going to see how beautiful it's going to look after everything's said and done. I've done videos before talking about the difference between white gold and platinum, some of the benefits. I myself a long time ago went with white gold. If you have not seen that video, click on the link up here so you can learn a little bit about the benefits of white gold and platinum, okay? And again, at the time I got white gold, nothing wrong with it. However, there is some more maintenance involved in the long run compared to platinum. Let me explain. I'm about to show you my wife's ring of about, it's been over eight years, so let's say nine years, never had a cleaning, okay? Never, never has gotten a polish. So nine years, this is what it looks like. So this is an example of what nine years looks like. You could see some worn tone, a little bit of a warm tone on the video. You could see there up close, it's got some warmth, got some scratches, it's got some gunk in it. So this is an example of white gold that needs to be erodium plated, re-dipped, to get that white luster again. I'm missing a little side stone right there. You see that? You see that? Right there, I'm missing a side stone. This happens. So right now I'm going to the jewelry district here where I live. I have a company that I worked with pretty often when I was doing custom jewelry. And uh, I'm gonna drop it off. And hopefully in a couple days, I'll be shooting again and showing you the outcome of a brand new polished ring. So again, guys, big benefits. You know, do I regret going gold? At the time, I was very happy with buying gold. And I think, to be honest with you, my wife doesn't care. She didn't even ask to polish this thing. I'm doing it because I realized, damn, I need to take care of this ring. It's looking kind of warm. You know, when you're married with kids later on, you're not gonna care about anything. In the beginning, you think you might care about this whole polishing thing, but the reality is you're not gonna give a shit. Oh, sorry, I mean, I'd use those words. You're not gonna care. So, you know, it would have been nice if I got platinum, yes. But the reality is I went over budget. And if I would've gotten platinum on that ring, it would've been an extra maybe $1,300. And that time, at that time I didn't have that. So do I regret going gold? Not really, but it would have been nice to go platinum. I wouldn't be going right now, walking, taking this to uh, the district to get it polished, but it is what it is. Hindsight 2020. All right, so I just dropped it off. In regards to, I wanted to talk to you guys about warranties. With warranties, they claim, a lot of people claim you have a full warranty, lifetime warranty. It's a very tricky, tricky phrasing, okay? If you happen to not care for your jewelry, let me, let me restart this. If if you're actually probably required to go every six months to get your jewelry checked on to get the prom the prongs tightened you have to be on top of the ball if you are not on top of the ball what happens next is they will deny any claim so it's really not realistic for you to go every six months get your jewelry tightened uh, re-dipped, polished, that is not realistic. This is a perfect example of real life. I'm waiting a total of nine years because guess what, life's busy. You know, people don't have the time. And let me tell you, this is not just my experience. Everybody I know has not re-polished their rings. No, I mean, nobody I know. Any, any, any person my age that's been married for quite some time, they don't do it. So it's very common. So this whole lifetime warranty, 
diamonds don't break. Gold is gonna scratch. There's no guarantee it's not gonna scratch. And if a stone pops out, like my wife's ring, the stone popped out, nothing wrong, no fault of the manufacturer. She's an active person, she goes to the gym. You know, everyday life, things happen. And if they see even a bump or ding on that ring, they're gonna say the stone popped out due to you mishandling the ring, it could fall. You know, it's kind of hard to, to pin these manufacturers at fault if you drop your ring 10 times and the stone pops out. That's not, that's not fair. So realistically, these warranties are very limited and you might be very disappointed one day if you think if a stone pops out all of a sudden, you're gonna get everything paid for as if it's their fault. That's not realistic thinking. So take these warranties with a grain of salt. All right, guys, so it's been a couple days. I just got the rings and they look amazing. I mean, it's perfect. It's pure white. Big difference, guys, when it's clean. I mean, wow. It was dull and lifeless before. Now it's just shining. Look at that. Now, if we go back to my prior video, I'm gonna have a side-by-side -side comparison here. I'm gonna bring it up. And to the left, obviously, you'll see the version that's not polished. And on the right, you're gonna see that brand new, beautiful polished ring. Guys, could you spot the difference? Tell me. So as you guys could see, definitely every couple of years, you're gonna need to repolish your rings. It is a massive difference, massive difference. I have a little bit of shame that it took me this long to do it. And again, you just, when you have kids and life, it gets crazy, it gets busy. It kind of goes to the back burner. You know, even she has been like, don't worry about it. She didn't even push me to do it. So this was me, I felt guilty. Um, I am the diamond guy, I should know better. But again, life is busy. And like I said, when you have kids, you'll see what I mean. Things get hectic and a, a polishing of a ring it takes a back burner. I hope this video was helpful just to kind of see what gold will look like in a later date after your purchase. It's still beautiful, but it needs some TLC. I'm glad I got that done. I'm sure my wife will be very happy. And I'm happy. I mean, I want her to be proud of the ring. Sparkly appearance again. So hope you guys love this video and catch you on the next one.